Hey out there survivors, welcome back to another episode of Let's Survive Paddy Plays. Today I am checking out one game in the Dread X collection out of 10. So uh, I'm hoping to basically play one of these a day for the next 10 days. That would be awesome. Uh, I want to say a huge thanks to Dread for sending me the the collection to check out. Uh, Dread XP is an awesome horror gaming website. Uh, that you can check out and of course Dread is part of Dread Central which is the coolest damn horror site around. I have picked Summer Night to play uh, and I have played a little bit of this already. Uh, I got as far as a point where mushrooms kept killing me so I am going to try again a little more learned and see how, how we get on. Uh, here we go. Okay. So as you can see, it kind of looks like uh, an old Game & Watch game. I'm also going to turn this down on my headset just a tad. So we got our little dude with his backwards cap. He looks super funky. And we got to grab these mushrooms because they give us points. So... Uh, this guy is so cool, taking all the mushrooms in front of a big, crappily rendered spooky house. Intentionally crappily rendered. Like I'm not, I'm not slamming Airdorf games. This is the, it, it definitely captures the uh, aesthetic of those old. I just my light went on that side, so I just flicked it back on. Uh, it definitely captures the aesthetic of those old Game and Watch style games, really, really well. So, major kudos for that. And this game did say at the start, and I fully trust it, <laughs> yeah, right, that absolutely nothing scary happens, you're just playing a game. So, I mean, how bad can that be? Right? There we go. So, we're nearly at 40. Which I think, yeah, goes to the next stage. Lovely night. Isn't it a lovely night? Ah, sure it is. Really like the sound design. Like, uh, I know you probably... It, it's not actually, like, my computer fan. See that creepy monkey dropping shit? He's not a creepy monkey, really. He's just a weird-ass monkey. Um, And he tries to throw his poop at you, like monkeys are wont to do. Uh... I'm just going to try and reposition myself here. Get a bit more comfy. Getting all the mushrooms. This lad is going to be wrecked out of his tree. If you had 60 mushrooms, what do you think you'd be like? I'd be dead anyway. Uh, so we're definitely going to get assaulted by some more monkeys this time. Yeah, they've literally pinned me in on this side, which is... Great, as Tony the Tiger would say. Oh well, I can still get to some of my mushrooms. Your plan failed, monkeys. I was still able to get to my mushrooms. Warm Breeze is the name of this level. Ha! Ah. So uh, the first time I was playing, that knocking that you just heard, I was convinced that that came from the door of my uh, studio, and I was freaked out because it was like 2am, and I was like, who the hell is knocking at the door of my studio? It was only when I heard like another knock and it sounded more like a window, I was like, yeah, that's not, that's from inside the game. Uh, but yeah, oh, there's a grim specter of death. So the whole idea behind this uh, this collection, the Dread X collection, is an awesome one. It is 10 games inspired by Hideo Kojima's PT. Uh, if you were lucky enough to play PT on the PlayStation, it is one of the scariest damn... I was going to say games, but it's actually a demo. It was a playable teaser, hence the name PT. Uh, oh, shit. See, these are the bad mushrooms that got me last time. Bad mushrooms. I also feel that... I oh, shit. I also feel that like my chair is rolling back slightly and it's kind of disconcerting. Uh, need to put a stopper down. Okay, I've got to try and avoid those bad mushrooms better. 
I love he's kind of garmless. Ah, oh, you little shite. Ah, oh, I avoided that one, finally. Okay. I think this is a. Uh, oh, I thought. Oh. I think this is the highest score I've ever gotten to. But as you can see, as Airdorf said in the intro text, nothing scary happens. You're just playing a fun little game and watch game. And I have my own uh, theories as to what's going to happen. Ah, oh, shit. And there's monkey poop. Uh, the, the monkey crap is probably quite good for the mushrooms. If my sources are to be believed. Yeah, as I say, I have theories. Uh, my main theory is, see that battery indicator up in the top right? I'm convinced that if that that if you don't finish the game or something before that battery indicator goes all the way down, that uh, bad things happen. That Like, there's a jump scare or something. That's my working theory, and I'm sticking to it. So, this is pretty much the furthest I've gotten to date. So, I'm looking forward to... What the hell is up with the moon? I just noticed... It's not somebody at my studio door. <laughs> okay. I thought it was. But what is up with the moon's uh, eye? I don't like that. Can I go up to him? No. Okay, I just picked up one mushroom and... That was that. Uh, hairy situation. I imagine that this involves uh, monkeys. Because they're the only hairy thing in this game. I'm still waiting. I'm still checking these mushrooms for bad mushrooms. See? Man, I grew up playing games like this. Uh, there was like pound shops. So like discount stores, I guess, in the US. That would sell like little crappy games like this for like you know five five pound and uh my, my mother would always like get me one and they were kind of rubbish but oh grim specter of death go away monkeys have me trapped on this side though oh what the f no okay i didn't you freaked out i didn't freak out what What the fuck is that? The sound design in this is really good. Mr. Moon is looking uh, pretty worse for wear now. He's not not looking too healthy at all. Uh, monkey blocking my path. I almost got mushroomed. Ah, again. Oh my god. I'm getting all those little shivers, man. It's the sound design. It's all sound design. But if I've learned anything from making horror movies and watching a hell of a lot of horror movies and stuff, sound design is the most powerful thing. But it's... it's ah, shit. It's especially in these headphones. Oh, what the fuck? Mr. Moon. Oh, you have to throw my game off, Mr. Moon. What the hell did... What came out of his eye? Black goo? You should probably go to a doctor, Mr. Moon. You could have... What's the thing in your eye? Conjunct conjunctivitis. <laughs> or is that in your teeth? I can't even remember. Ah! Okay, get the mushrooms. Keep on winning. Up to 180 score now. I am pretty happy with that. For a... Second attempt. I will tell you that this probably looks ridiculous. Oh, this probably looks ridiculous. Like if you're watching a let's play of this, I can only imagine. But I'm telling you that it's actually. I was about to say it's it's actually a lot of fun to play. Uh, the gameplay itself is actually quite enjoyable, uh, especially if you did grow up on those uh, terrible old Game & Watch style games. Ah, oh, fuck off! 
Mr. Moon, we are not friends anymore. Uh, you betrayed me. But yeah, it's it's the game keeps you lulled in with like kind of fun little gameplay, and then it's the creepy noises and stuff. Oh, error! I don't like errors. So this goes off another theory I've been thinking. I wonder if like the game wants you to like quit out of it or try to quit out of it so that it'll then throw a scare at you. So I guess maybe if I uh, quit out of it here, it was escape. No, escape does nothing. That is a horrible sound. Uh, Alt F4. Okay, so it's just it's just messing with you, Eternal Darkness style. I don't know if you ever played Eternal Darkness uh, Sanity's Requiem on the GameCube. Uh, it had a lot of elements that like to mess with the player. Oh, look at how bad I've gotten all of a sudden. Uh, you can tell my nerves are at me when I play this shite. Oh God. Oh. She is firing her hands at me. <laughs> Look at how happy he still is though. Like, grim specter of death trying to grab him and he's just like, he's still super chill. Oh! Jesus. Boss fight! Oh! I was too desperate for the mushroom that I, uh, let myself get hit. Good night. Oh, down to one battery, which is not uh, not ideal. As I say, I'm waiting for it. I'm convinced that the second I hit zero battery, it's just like a face is going to appear and like scare the shit out of me or something. Um, I have myself totally steel for that, so you ain't going to be getting a reaction out of me. Uh, I know your tricks. I have this sussed. See, like, now you, you, like, put this down, and then, oh. Oh, interesting. Is there, like, a whole other game to be played here? Or something like that? Oh! What the f- Jesus, is that the- That's the Spectre of Death from the fucking thing! Oh my god, go away! No, 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 no! Don't come near me! Give me the batteries! Oh, okay. I was expecting a jump scare. I was not quite expecting that. Um, it, I, I think it lured me into a false sense of security when I kind of came out of the room and stuff. Because I didn't think... I I, th I thought there would be a jump scare there and then I didn't think that it was going to like do that. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. Um, I mean, that's just one of the ten games that are available in uh, Dread X Collection. So I'm going to be playing them all, as I say, hopefully one a day for the next while. And uh, I'd love for you guys to, if you feel like it, hit that little subscribe button below. Even the like button or share button if you feel like it. And hang around. Uh, check out the check out some of the other videos we got on here. There's loads. And uh, yeah, come back for the next uh, Dread X Collection video. So as I always say, let's survive together. And try not to run out of batteries. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, peace out. <laughs>